away with the win tonight. Um, Avalanche win three to two, but this was not without some extracurricular activities. Uh, the score sheet will show an early fight in this game, and we were all kind of expecting it, but you weren't exactly thrilled with how it happened. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, you know what? It's it's obviously you know I've played many many years in the National Hockey League, and I actually the first few years in the league I played with Lyndon Byers and Chris Nyland, so I played with a lot of tough guys, so I understand the code very very well. Um, you know, played sat beside Derek Bugard for many many years in the Wild uniform, and this the you know. Cody McLeod had an opportunity to fight Charlie Coyle at the end of the game. He goes and, and, and runs one of the smallest guys on the ice, and that's okay. Some, sometimes things happen like that on the ice. But the way the fight went down here tonight, I'm going to kind of set this up before we get into the fight. You can let the fight roll if you want, Em. I mean, this fight happened right now. Stewart has been on the ice for 45 seconds, and, and McLeod jumps on the ice for his first shift while he goes over there and tries to pick a fight with a guy that's been on the ice for 45 seconds. Really, if these guys were friends, they would have lined up beside each other at the start of a, at the start of a shift when both of them uh, were, were, were fresh. But this is this is some of the stuff with the, with the cold that we talked about, where you know normally two tough guys will not fight another guy when the one guy's at the end of a shift. And, and uh, you know you can call it uh, whatever you want, but uh, for me I was very very surprised that Stewart fought him because he was he fought it uh, you know he was at the end of a shift. It says a lot about um, Stewart that was willing to to fight him, but. For me, if, if I'm Stewart, I'm not fighting Cody McLeod. I'm fighting him on my terms, not on your terms, bud. So if you want to line up beside me, man on man, uh, we'll do that. And listen to me, I was not a tough guy or fighter when I played. But when you see things like that, it, it kind of sets you back a little bit. So, um, you know, hats off to Stewart for fighting the guy. I mean, he was 50 seconds into his shift. Cody McLeod jumps on the ice when he's when he's fresh. So those are some of the, th uh, the small little integral things that go on in a game. But, uh, you know, nonetheless, obviously, Cody scored a little bit. Uh, right. uh, McLeod scored later in the, later in the game. And he's, he's a solid player for their team you know he knows what he needs to do but uh, it's just some of the small little subtle things that we see for folks that have played for a long long time well Chris Stewart certainly made a few more fans in Minnesota tonight not only with the fight but obviously with the goal later that really keyed the wilds wilds comeback here.